Hey friends, welcome to the Infologs uh, YouTube channel. Uh, this is uh, regarding the Blazor uh, video series. Uh, this is the continuation of the last video. So if you uh, uh, didn't watch our last video, uh, that is creation of to-do list in Blazor application, then I'll recommend before watching this video, you should go ahead and watch the earlier one. Okay, so in our last video, I have promised you that uh, we are going to uh, do one more task in the previous um, previous uh, in the continuation of previous tutorial so that was but before that uh, let me uh, give you an overview what we uh, we did till now so I have created an application and added a razor uh, component uh, that is to do list and you can see this uh, option the fourth option to do list as soon as I click on that uh, it is asking me to enter the uh, item name and uh, as soon as I hit the add item it is added uh, into the list of uh, collection so you can also see the total number of items added and that is uh, pending so yeah and uh, as soon as I clicked on the checkbox it is automatically getting uh, considering it as done element so the total pending item is now two okay this much was done now uh, at the la last moment I have uh, asked the questions that uh, whenever I clicked on the checkbox this item should be strike through right for that we need to make some changes in our coding so let's flip to Visual Studio so I have already loaded that project and uh, Okay, let me do something get rid of this okay so this is our basic stuff we didn't made any changes of that and I'm uh, working in the same project so yeah uh, this both video will be available on the same time same day so you don't need to do uh, you don't need to wait for the uh, one week uh, for the completion of this article so here uh, let me okay so basically uh, to implement uh, that requirement uh, we have uh, two ways uh, to do that so currently uh, if you see this code uh, you can see that if that uh, the item is uh, done then uh, we are not considering that element inside the count collection so so just understand it uh, how this is working so I have uh, already binded that uh, is done property with our checkbox, right? So all the status of this checkbox will uh, is available in this um, uh, item dot is done property. So now oh, what I'm gonna do? So I'll use this property to uh, tell this uh, span uh, element, hey, if this is a done element, if this is done then uh, i wanted to add some more uh, styling element to this uh, to this element styling attribute to this element right so we can do uh, that by two way so first one the simple one that i am gonna uh, just write here so i wanted to add a style element and uh, in the style element uh, what will be the uh, CSS that is text decoration you can see this we got a line through element okay so, but line through element will be the dynamic okay based on uh, item dot is done property so I use a razor syntax over here and say that item is done okay so I have to write a, a C sharp code saying hey if the item is done then uh, let's print this line through else we don't need anything okay and then this function is over so let's uh, see if this is working or not okay is there anything pending okay so let me check if this attribute value is included in a quotation mark, the quotation marks must match. Okay. So we need to add one more thing. Okay. This is the inline code section. So as soon as if this uh, element is 
uh, find as done and then we are saying hey add this line through uh, property to the text decoration uh, CSS okay now let's uh, run this application and test whether it's working properly or not and then I'll uh, also show you the other way that is more simpler than this but there will be a, a little bit more code available Pleasure tutorial then sp net for tutorial then c short tutorial then sp dot net tutorial okay so from this uh, we have done with the sp dot net tutorial so see uh, the text get changed and the item is pending free so as soon as I click on the sp.net core is around completed 40% still I'm considering it as completion so now we have only two elements pending so now we'll just click on all the elements so now we don't have any elements pending for from our to list task okay this is very simple so the other way uh, to do this is uh, uh, writing a little bit extra code so here it's very simple I'll put a condition over here like this item dot um, is done if it's done then okay if it's done then put a span element uh, write a style text decoration to line through and then add item dot title okay else uh, just put the span element without any CSS attribute and then it item dot title okay and just comment to comment this code we have a at star okay so you just or you can go as traditionally control K C or control K U for commenting and uncommenting within. This is the simplest way. Run this application and test it whether it's working properly or not. So I'll again add a few elements uh, in the blazer. Oops. Then SPNet core and C sharp and then standard is .net okay and then as soon as i click yeah this is also working fine okay now it's up to you guys uh, what kind of coding you wanted to write right so this is the power of uh, razor syntax you can write anywhere the c sharp code okay that's why this laser is amazing yeah uh, if you have uh, any questions you can ask me uh, in the comment section or you can also Baba. Baba. okay you can ask um, in the comment section or uh, you can also uh, connect with us on a, a social media platform with uh, SP, uh, in Facebook and Twitter so uh, on the last screen you can uh, see the four sections uh, on the uh, left side you'll see the subscription and uh, on the right or uh, top side you'll see the uh, playlist for blazer tutorial and at the bottom uh, you will see the uh, previous and next video tutorial so if you wanted to like it just to watch our next video that is available on the topic called uh, life cycle that is most most important topic okay so whenever we um, develop any real-time application so you should know about the life cycle of blazer component right so see you in the next video tutorial till then thank you for watching keep learning bye bye